Did you know that the prana that accumulates and redistributes at the seven chakras in the human body branches out in exactly 360 pathways? In this video, let's look at this phenomena described by Adi Shankaracharya in one of the foremost books on Tantra, Saundarya Lahari. The Sanskrit channel is an effort to explore a vast variety of topics from original Sanskrit literature. If you wish to support this effort, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution through these options. Your support will help us improve the quality, length and number of topics covered in our videos. Do check out all the links in the description below. In our previous videos, we understood the logic and reasoning behind the existence of chakras, their names, functions and corresponding elements. We saw that chakras are nothing but energy junctions where prana or life breath gathers and circulates across the body through various pathways called nadis. We also have an understanding of three primary nadis, Ida, Pingala and Sushumna. It is from here that these nadis divide themselves into multiple branches to carry prana throughout the body. What's interesting is that the number of nadis that branch out out of all these chakras when added together form the number 360. Adi Shankaracharya mentions this phenomenon in the 14th shloka of Saundarya Lahari as follows. Kshitau shat panchashad dvisamadhika panchashad udake hutashe dvashashtihi chaturadhika panchashad anile divi dvishat trimshan manasicha chatushashtiriti ye mayukhas teshama pyupari tava padambuja yugam. This means in the earth element, kshiti, which corresponds to the Muladhara Chakra, there are Shat Panchashad or 56 rays. And in Udaka, which is the water element and the corresponding Manipuraka, there are Dvisamadhika Panchashad or 52 rays. In Hutasha or the fire element, which corresponds to the Swadhisthana Chakra, there are Dvashashti or 62 rays. In Anila or wind element, which corresponds to Anahata Chakra, there are Chaturadhika Panchashad meaning 54 rays. In Vishuddhi Chakra, which means in the space element, in Divi, there are Dvi Shat Trimshan or 2 times 36, which is 72 rays. Finally, in Manas or mind, at the center of the eyebrows or the Agnya Chakra, there are Chatush Shashti or 64 rays. On top of all these rays, says Shankaracharya, are the Padambuja Yugam or the lotus feet of the goddess. Her feet are said to be resting at the Sahasrara or the Crown Chakra. If we add all these branches which diverge out from six chakras, it forms a wholesome 360, a complete circle. Each of these nadis correspond to a particular human capability and are also depicted as being governed by various goddesses and gods. You might also have noticed that the order of elements corresponding to Swadhisthana and Manipuraka were reversed in this shloka. In fact, this correlation can be seen throughout Saundarya Lahari. While at the surface it looks like there is a contradiction between Saundarya Lahari and Shatchakra Nirupanam, the underlying significance is something like this. If the spiritual path you are following is about quenching your reproductive urges and firing up your belly, then fire element is associated with Manipuraka or the Navel Chakra and water with Sacral or Swadhisthana. If it is about firing up your reproductive strength, and quenching your hunger, then fire element is associated with Swadhisthana Chakra and water is associated with Manipuraka Chakra. I hope this video gave you a little more insight and understanding into the functioning of chakras and how they are branched throughout the body. From here on, the path gets more and more mystical with the association of these subtle faculties inside the human body with various kinds of deities who are not just symbolic representations but a living presence in this existence. If you wish to support the production of more videos like these, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution all through the links in the description below. Consider subscribing to the Sanskrit channel where we explore hidden gems in the vast world of diverse Sanskrit literature. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.